I'm so excited to talk about my experience for Oasis World here. In this session, I would like to show my experience to help you to find a way to contribute to Oasis World as your way. Let me introduce myself first. I'm Kazaki Matsuo from Japan. Please call me Kazu. My social media accounts are almost Kazu Cocoa. The Cocoa is come from the iOS framework. I work in Hespin as a senior software engineer, device automation. I also heavily commit to, to contribute to Appium project. It takes almost five years after my first commitment to the GitHub repositories. Nowadays, I work as a senior software engineer, but previously, I worked as a test or quality engineer. So maybe the, my experience is actually recently work for a software engineer, but my best experience is, I believe, almost close to you. And today's topic is here. I want to talk about my experience how to start contributing contributing to OSS project first. And I hope you find our example to contribute to OSS, especially Appium. Our second topic is about the OSS community. In here, I want to show the community roughly and uh, where you are. This should be interesting if you want to find a good opportunity to contribute to Appium project. So, in the end, I hope you will get an insight or motivation to work for OSS communities. If you can find such good point for Appium project, my talk should be a very good success. Okay, let's start. The first topic is my experience in OS world. This is our, I'd like to show my career. And my career started as a software engineer. I experienced a couple of years for automation, testing stuff, uh, manage project or product. I also did software testing as well. In work, I definitely used the OSS tools, but I was just a user. I was not so aggressively to commit OSS project. So my mind was just a user. I know GitHub activity is not the only thing to indicate my OSS activities, but let me show my GitHub to show my change. The first commitment was to practice mobile automation stuff using Appium. This is just for me. I think this is not uh, this is a very common thing if you if you uh, when you learn new thing or investigate something and try to new something, and uh, you push the, change the some code, writing a code, and uh, push the GitHub to remain the, uh, some of your activities. But this is just for me. But after 2014, the number of commitment increased. The target was not the only for Appium, but also other OS projects. Why I changed so? The first thing, was previous company's culture. I joined Cookpart as my second career as a test or quality engineer. Since I, want, I wanted to experience software testing and software quality more, I worked like on agile testers, such as automation, manual testing, improving software development processes, and more other uh, quality related activities there to build uh, such quality culture in the company. Then I got a responsibility for mobile application area. So I bet to Appium for mobile automation for both Android and iOS because I was, uh, only, I was uh, only one test engineer in there, so I must cover Android and iOS by only me. The, the decision was the, my first reason why I got interested in Appium. 
the most significant impact for me to contribute to the OSS commitment was the company encouraged the employees to contribute to OSS. The cookpot heavily used Ruby. Ruby is the programming language. The Ruby is a OSS product, and the cookpot had committed to their language itself as a company. The company's performance review had a commitment to OSS project product as an engineer. Thus, I started to contribute to OSS project steadily. The number of commitment had increased after joining the cookpot. And uh, surprisingly, I noticed that my first commit to the Appian project was 20, uh, 2014. I just uh, searched when I created this talk. It was almost five years ago. Very surprised. I can remember the first issue even now. Since the commitment was my first time to non-individual OSS project, I was very nervous then. So I tested very carefully, even if it was a very, very small fix. The motivation was I wanted to fix the issue as a user. I fixed the issue when I ran tests on my environment. One good thing for OSS product is we can fix it if we find some issues in the repositories. Yeah, this is a very good thing. This commit is merged very quickly. The process was definitely easy than expected. The experience was my first commitment to Appium repositories. That was very really amazing. After a while, I continued to work for Appium project and other OSS project as well. GitHub activity also became being grown. In 2017, I finally became a technical committer in Appium project. The green color does not contain the private repositories. Everything is public one. This is just a public one, and uh, nowadays the activity is kind of became my routine work. And uh, finally, I moved to Headspin to current job to focus on evolving mobile performance automation environment and grow the environment further. The commitment for Appium project is continuing. I talked about my first commit, and that was very small. But after the commit, I felt commitment. I felt uh, my commitment was very not so difficult. So the commitment itself is not so hard if you you done once. And for a while, I fixed some issues which I faced when I use uh, uh, Appium in my project. I use Ruby client mainly since, I sh as I've shown you, Ruby was a primary language in the cookpot. Almost engineers were able to implement Ruby code, and uh, we, we had many helpful Ruby-rated libraries internally. We could use them to make handling tests easy. After a while, Unfortunately, the re-appeal binding changed to the status as a call for maintainers. Around then, I decided to work for Ruby as a primary main, Ruby binding as a primary maintainer. The motivation was easy. I used it very heavily in the company work. After that, I changed the something, for example, Adopting the W3C spec support in rebinding and separate some complicated cores, complicated features into core part and uh, decorated part. And uh, I also work, for, work with Selenium guys. For example, Selenium guys have their project called Waiter. And uh, we collaborated with code name Top Waiter, which is our waiter for mobile. I also started to commit, commit to Appium server side as well as client side, evolving Appium further. I have sold experience for Android and iOS 
So my experience on the, my work also very helpful to me to enhance the film and the, the commitment. So nowadays, I currently I'm commit to the client not only Ruby but also Python and sometimes .NET. I'm not very familiar not familiar with .NET, so we need a maintenance for .NET, by the way, and the server side as well. So and uh, currently I'm working at Headspin, but not full time a film committer, just a part time. And uh, my pro commitment to the Appian project become a uh, routine work in my private time as well. I talked about fix. I talked about, about my experience, how to leverage my commitment in OSS project, especially Appian case. My first step was find a small issue and uh, fix that issue, and. Uh, after that, I could leverage the commitment to the more widely. If you are not familiar with OSS world, I think uh, maybe you, your commitment, you are trying to commit, then you feel very scared because some review, negative review or something will get. But once you can work for it, I believe you, your feel become better and then you will get more opportunities to make your experience deep for OSS world and maybe you can find more experience in the software, software world. Okay, this is our, from now, I want to show the OSS communities. I talked about my experience, but the only important thing in my talking ex about my experience was you will find an example to in the OS world activities. My experience was mainly committed to the code base. I heard similar questions by many people such as friends and uh, colleagues. Exactly the commitment to the code base is very important to uh, evolve the product and project. But this is, not, this is not the only way to evolve communities. Let me decorate a graph. This green color is a mm, kind of feature and documentation stuff. So it shows the core members de develops and fix some issues. We also investigate the some calls in the issues and fix them or write a documentation how some features work or some practices. It includes not only Appium developers, but also implementing Appium binding libraries or other native libraries. But time is limited. No one can work everything. And around the development members. We need us, uh, the blue color is mm, kind of supporters in the community. For example, this means they, they guide some beginners or answer against the questions in somewhere. And uh, hopefully, there are some users who get answered by such supporters or developers then the guy will be the next supporters for the another guys. This cycle is very important in the OSS communities. Of course, around the, the most, uh, the most people is uh, just a user. So the yellow color is uh, just a user and the green, in the community, there is a user just are asking and they're maybe mainly using, but not so feedback to their core team or supporters, but they support, they are supported by Blue Colors one and they're, yeah, 
But the important thing is they are not hierarchy. They are very flat and they are, the differ, difference is just a role. So we should support each other to evolve the communities. This is the OSS world. Nowadays, Appium is the, one of the Jazz Foundation's members. Uh, so the tools have been developed by committee base. So we need uh, more power by committee. One interesting, in Japan, we have a local community for people living in Japan. Nozomi, who, who will be the, one of the speakers uh, tomorrow, is a leader. And I sometimes help Appium users in these communities. This activity is kind of blue or green color in the previous page. And uh, if you are interested in commit, from now, I will talk about uh, some project in Appium. If you are interested in, in try to new, create a new issues in the Appium or try to help Appium project at our first place. We started uh, one localization project. On Appium desktop, we already provide uh, maybe three or four, five, six languages. They are translated in this project. No one can speak all natural languages in the world, so this project is very important by help you because I'm really not sure the Indian languages, of course. So many people, for example, in Japan, also almost 100% finished to inter uh, translating in Japan, Japanese and Chinese also. And some places are very active to translating from English to their languages. And this is very easy thing to commit to the project. And documentation also very important, but very easy to commit. The commitment to documentation is, mm, I know, actually need a kind of special skills because documentation should be help understanding the project product. For, for developer, sometimes we describe uh, technically and very deeply. It sometimes make understanding difficult for beginner or for some users. So hopefully, as a user, improving documentation and uh, creating a PO is a very appreciate. Improving documentation for users as a user is very important to support users as a one of the committee. We also have a forum. Maybe if you, I hope someone already used, used this or know this. If you have any questions or something, you want to get an answer, this is maybe not a bug, then you can post the, your questions in this forum. Then someone apply uh, apply for your question. And in Appium project, we have a label, good first issue, and help wanted. For example, in Python case, we have uh, this kind of good first issue. There is a, uh, and uh, if you are interested in committing the code base, then this and if you, uh, you know Python and you can implement some easy script for Python, then this, they are, should be very good for first place. For example, yesterday I did a workshop to become a committer, find a bug, then only maybe seven hours in that, we already got uh, two PRs and they are very small and very easy. But there's in another PO already done similar thing, so very easy to create a PO and commit to the code base. We also have uh, some lovers in the 
this is the Appium main repository. There is an enhancement or good first issue. And in some issue, is uh, just uh, improving an error message. This change also happened yesterday. Very small, just a log debug message. But this is also a very good, impo good first issue to contribute to Appium code base. This is our final page. So I talked about my experience and uh, <coughs> start contribute to OSS world from small change and uh, leverage to the more repositories and uh, my activities for OSS became the routine work. And uh, I also told you the OSS community need more help, your work. For example, commit to the documentation, question and answer or if you are interested in, the, in committing a code base, then fixing issue or a new feature or something, also very good place. That's it. Hopefully, some of listeners get a motivation to, or interest in uh, contributing a hopefully Appium project or OSS project around you. Thank you very much. <laughs>